Introduction to Electrical Safety When you work in a factory, you are most likely to be surrounded by machines. What powers these machines is electricity. And if electricity is not handled carefully, you are at risk of injury and even death. Electrical shock can cause you painful burns. Physical injuries such as broken bones from falls. Muscle damage. Nervous system effects. Breathing and heart problems. And even kill you. If you are injured, you cannot go to work and you will lose income. Electricity is one of the most common causes of fire in homes and workplaces. If your factory burns down, you may even lose your job. What you need to do is protect yourself by understanding electrical hazards and follow safety procedures. Understand. What is electricity? Electricity is a form of energy generated by various methods. Hydrodam, waves, nuclear reactors, the combustion of materials, wind, generators, etc. and transported into homes and workplaces to be used every day to make machines work including light bulbs and tubes, television sets, hair dryers, electric sewing machines, computers, telephones, and many more. Electricity itself is colorless, does not smell, and is invisible. It can only be detected by using specialized equipment. Electric currents travel from one place to another through conductors. Conductors are anything that allows electrical currents to go through them. And some of the most common conductors are all types of metals, silver, copper, gold, aluminium, iron and steel, and other materials such as graphite and concrete. Liquid is also a strong conductor. Therefore, electricity flows through water and even animals and our human bodies. So, how can electricity be made safe to use? By using insulators. Insulators are materials that do not allow the flow of electrical currents. Common insulators include glass, rubber, oil, wood, plastic, ceramic and porcelain. The plastic insulator you see wrapped around most electrical wires and cords is an example of an insulator. However, there are many types of insulators and electricity requires effective and sufficient insulators for the units of electrical potential called voltages that pass through them. So, how do you get electric shock? You will get an electric shock if you touch a live wire or when you touch two live wires together with different voltages. When you get shocked, your body becomes part of the circuit, whereby the current travels around and around through you. However, shock can even occur without touching live parts, as circuits can be completed through the air or a liquid. So it is important that you are aware of where dangerous places are. These could include areas with overhead power lines, because these power lines are usually unguarded and energized. Or a pool of water in which a live wire or insufficiently insulated wires are immersed. How can electricity cause fire? When an electrical current passes through the wires, they become heated, and as ambient temperatures change the insulation, can become hardened and then crack. Often, the electrical cords are folded tightly and the area where the pressure is applied in the folds 
wears out the insulation material. When the cords become old over time, the insulation material simply deteriorates. These situations cause the electrical wires to become exposed or broken. If the electricity continues to flow through these exposed or broken wires, it can cause electrical sparks. A simple spark can initiate a fire because the insulation itself catches fire, which will begin to burn nearby materials. And if a spark comes in contact with hazardous materials, gases or air, a devastating explosion can result. When moisture comes into contact with any exposed wiring, it can heat up and carbonize the combustibles in the area. Fires commonly start in damp or wet electrical boxes. Overloaded circuits cause high currents to pass through the wires, causing them to generate heat. And when heat cannot be dissipated as quickly as it has been generated, the excess heat can ignite a fire. You see, fires can start easily. Aware. Now that you know electricity can be very dangerous, you need to protect yourself from the dangers. But first you have to recognize the potential dangers around you. What are potential dangerous situations in factories with electricity? Among others, signs of unsafe wiring include equipment with loose connections, homemade extension cords, exposed or damaged cords, wires and wet or damp electrical cabinets, dangling overhead wires, unprotected electrical panels, extension cords on a heavily trafficked or wet floor, overburdened electrical outlets, and warm or hot outlets, frequent electrical outages caused by blown electrical fuses indicate that the use of electricity is beyond the electrical capacity supplied by the existing wiring. What about unsafe behaviour? These can include using electrical cords to move equipment or boxes, repairing electricity-powered equipment or wires while the electrical current has not been turned off, working in elevated positions near overhead electrical lines, using common extension cords for industrial use, or submerging such cords in liquid, or allowing contact with wet surfaces during use, overloading electrical outlets with too many pieces of equipment. Appliances or extension cords are also unsafe behaviours. Protect. When you are aware of the possible dangers of electricity, there are steps you can follow to protect yourself. First and foremost, if you see any dangerous situations or behaviour, you need to inform your supervisor immediately. If you see accidents involving electricity, or if you notice near-miss incidents, you must also report these to your supervisor. Your supervisor should take appropriate actions, such as deploying a qualified electrician to repair or correct the problems, training employees and promoting safe behaviour in the workplace related to electricity. If the problems persist, please remind your supervisor. Report to other safety officers and managers or use the suggestion box inside the factory. If you use any electrical tools and equipment, ask your supervisor about their proper usage and how to avoid danger. Switch off all power before plugging and unplugging tools and equipment. Avoid wearing jewellery that might come into contact with exposed or energised parts. Remember, metals are powerful conductors that allow the flow of electricity. Use personal protective equipment, PPE, properly where it is required. PPE, such as insulated footwear and gloves, will keep you safe from electrical dangers. Do not use damaged or altered equipment. 
and always use and maintain tools according to the manufacturer's specifications or as directed by your supervisor. Do not touch any exposed or damaged wire or cord. Never attempt to repair electrical equipment or cords unless you are qualified. There are people trained to repair these. And all you have to do is to keep the equipment secured until they can attend to it. Pay attention to avoid overhead power lines when operating elevated machines or equipment, such as backhoes, forklifts, portable ladders and scaffolding. Never use a damaged outlet and do not plug too many pieces of equipment into one outlet. Be cautious around electrical wires. Never open an electrical panel and avoid working around water or wet locations with electricity unless you are fully protected. Be aware of electrical dangers. Be observant and stay alert to electrical hazards. And carefully follow safety procedures. You can help create a safer workplace for yourself and your co-workers.